Hello world, it's your girl CC, aka Sexy Peaches, and I'm coming at you with my third vlog. I would like to talk about Trayvon Martin versus George Zimmerman case. This is a very, very touchy subject. Um, I was talking about this earlier and almost got an argument about it because of my views. But... I mean, it just is what it is. First of all, I would like to say that people should not make this a race issue. I am so tired of that. The race card is played out. And to me, it's always funny that people always want to use the race card when there's something tragic going on. I mean, why is that? And... Another thing, black people, we want to get together when somebody shoots somebody and they're not of our race, but the truth is that we kill each other every day. We need to stop that. We need, how are we going to act a certain way if somebody is killing us when we're killing ourselves? Just think about it. Now... Now that I've said that, I do believe that it's wrong that George shot Trayvon because Trayvon wasn't doing anything. He was innocent. He was only going to the store. He was watching a basketball game like a lot of 17 year olds do and just wanted a little snack for him and his brother. So, you know, he just went to the store. He didn't know that within the next few minutes he was going to lose his life. And George Zimmerman, George, 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 you should have stayed in your car. I don't care if you thought he was doing something. It wasn't your place. You might have been neighborhood watch, but that's it. You were neighborhood watch. You were not the law. You should not have taken the law into your own hands. When clearly there wasn't anything that was being did wrong. You shot somebody for no apparent reason. And the stand your ground law, Florida, that is the most stupidest thing I ever heard. Stan, what was George Zimmerman standing his ground for? For what? I could see if, you know, somebody was robbing his house, you know doing something to one of his parents or if he got any sisters or brothers or you know stealing from him his person anything that belonged to him that's stand your ground to me but George Zimmerman got out of his car and followed this boy in this neighborhood that he didn't even live in he was visiting his daddy he followed him how is that standing your ground I mean, and to the people that think that this man was following Trayvon, he wasn't going to retaliate in some way, it's ridiculous. I mean, we don't know what could have possibly happened because we were not there. And I was watching the highlights from the case, and I saw where the defense had the courtroom to sit quiet for four minutes, like do nothing, say nothing anything and his defense was that four minutes is a long time he could have ran and got away that's weak 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 I mean four minutes is not that long and in a situation like that I mean it can really go by fast in a situation where somebody's chasing you and you don't know, somebody's following you, you don't know what this man's going to do, what this person is capable of. You don't even know why they're following you. So, I mean, he could have ran, but then you don't know. I mean, he might have thought this man had a gun. And obviously, he did. You might think, man, what if I start running? This man might shoot me. You don't know what George Simmons could have said to Trayvon over this, this time. You don't know whether he showed him that he had a gun. I mean, these are things that we don't know. 
And at this point, we will never know because Trayvon, of course, he isn't here to tell his side of the story. We can only guesstimate and try to piece it together. And, you know, of course, George isn't going to tell Trayvon's part because he's only going to tell George's truth. He's not going to tell Trayvon's truth. So, I mean, there are just certain things we will never, ever know. The, the time that his girlfriend said that she was on the phone with him and then it ended with a thump. And the line went dead. I mean, and they're showing pictures, I believe, of George with a bloody nose. And he has a couple cuts in the back of his head. Um, To me, I mean, if you're following somebody, you get what you get. You following somebody, he probably was heckling him. We don't know what he said to him. He might have called him out of his name. Because, I mean, he doesn't, didn't know the boy. The boy didn't know him. Trayvon didn't know George. George didn't know Zimmerman. So, I mean, I mean, he just should have just left that alone. He was following him. We, I mean, we don't know what happened. Obviously, there was a tussle. And then, of course, in the end, he got shot. I mean, people just saying all this stuff, but I mean, George Zimmerman is still alive. Trayvon has a bullet to the heart. He's dead. And this case, this case, this case, I've never seen so many lies. I mean, how can you tell a jury not to use their common sense? This is a very common sense case. This is the kind of case that should have never happened. If someone, this is really where he should have minded his own business and went about his day. If it was not happening to him, if it was not hurting him in any way, he should have just kept right on going in his truck. I mean, they talking about, about uh, accusations and stuff. Accusations is what pretty much got what we have right now is this case is because of an accusation. Because of when he said that these assholes get away with everything. So, I mean, that should just go pretty much out the window. But, I'm going to continue to watch this case as it, you know, grows. And I hope my rant wasn't too, in, too you know, crazy. I hope it made some sense. And I'm going to keep a watch on it. And I'll probably make another video with the verdict. I hope the verdict is the right one. I hope that there's common sense. I hope they don't go by this stand your ground line. Law. Pretty much I see a line. Oh my god. Law. It should just be on the facts of the thing that he got about his car when he was told not to. And he followed this, this boy around and he killed him. That's really what happened. Ain't trying to put no pieces together. This happened. That happened. Or none of that. He killed him. Simple in 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 the story. And um, I holler at you guys later. It's been real. This is a signature style production, and we out.